In this video, we're going to go through some of my tips on how you can use pie charts effectively. We're going to go through each of these tips and why you should be using them in the first place. All of that and more. So without further ado, let's get started. Hi, my name is Fernand and welcome to the Solutions Abroad YouTube channel where we cover tips, tricks, and best practices when working with Power BI. I upload new videos every week, so make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell icon to get notified when a new one is out. Pie charts lets you visualize the proportion of your data as a whole. If you're creating dashboards or reports, it can be a nice change of pace from the typical charts that you would use. So it would most likely be a bar chart. However, pie charts in general have a really bad reputation amongst the kind of data visualization community because in general, humans are not very good at estimating proportions in angles like what we have in a pie chart, for example. If you look at this pie chart here that I've created, it basically visualizes the total sales for each of these product categories that we have in our semantic model. So let's say I give you a task without interacting with this pie chart by itself like this, I want you to figure out which slice is bigger, the produce or the condiments. Another mental gymnastics that you might have is, for example, let's say uh, you were given another task to rank all of these categories from highest to lowest. Now you probably would be able to do it if you looked at it hard enough. However, it will take a lot longer than if you just use the bar chart, for example, which will give you that ranking without needing for you to do all of that uh, thinking. So typically, if I have data points that I want to show the proportion as a whole, and my objective is to compare them between each other, I would usually think if it's better for me to use another visual apart from pie charts, like using bar charts, for example. However, if you absolutely have to use pie charts, let me give you some of my tips to effectively communicate your insights through it. The first tip that I can give you is to use no more than five slices in your pie charts. So from my experience, anything more than five really convolutes your pie charts and it makes it difficult to distinguish, you know, uh, the slices and how big those slices are, as well as those different categories. So a good example would be this pie chart that I've created here, which is basically instead of using categories is now showing products uh, in this pie chart, which obviously has more than five products. And, you know, having this color wheel like this it doesn't give you that much insight. So in this example, if you wanted to visualize uh, products and product sales, for example, a good option for you to use or to do would be to reduce this number of products. So let's say we want to focus on the top five selling products and their proportion. So from here, we can go to the uh, filters here under the product name, which is what we're using in the legend. We'll go to top N, we'll do five here, and then we'll use the top five sales measure on the buy value. So if we hit apply, as you can see, now it's giving us just the top five products or the top five selling products in, uh, in this pie chart, which is a lot easier to read and understand, you know, which products uh, are selling the most and kind of what rank they are. Speaking of ranks, you can make it easier for your users by sorting your uh, pie charts or your slices in descending order. So here, for example, in this pie chart, you have the more options section here. And then under sort access, if you select sales descending, what it will do is it will order your uh, categories or your slices from the biggest to the lowest from the top right corner. Now, obviously that's by default. You can adjust this rotation from the format section here using this rotation, but I typically would just leave it to zero because this is the typical way that you would show rank in a pie chart, starting from the top right being the biggest. So the benefit of this is that now you know that uh, a lot, all of the slices from the right are bigger than the ones on the left. So for example, if we look at these two products, for example, they look slightly bigger, but I know that uh, this product is slightly bigger in terms of of its percentage as opposed to the last product just purely because of how they're sorted. Another tip that I can give you is to use data labels. Now, uh, at the moment, we 
the only labels that we have is the actual uh, legend here. But uh, in Power BI, you actually have some other options here. So the detail label here, which lets you add more information uh, on the actual pie charts themselves. So you have some options here, like choosing uh, where that label is outside or inside. I prefer to have them outside just to have more space. And uh, on the labels, you can actually choose also what you'd like to see in that. So either you wanna see just the data value and percent, or you might want to see the category and percent, for example, or category and the value. So something like this. Having the category names on the slices themselves actually makes it a lot easier to read because you don't have to uh, switch your gaze back and forth from the legend and what the color is to the color wheel to figure out which, which product that is. It's actually directly on where the pie chart is. And it actually deprecates the legend because we actually don't need that legend anymore. We simply using the, um, the detail labels here to denote what those slices are. The last tip that I can give you is to use colors to your advantage. Use your colors as part of your storytelling to highlight what you're trying to tell with this. So for example, um, in this pie chart, we want to highlight the fact that one of the products are selling a significantly high amount compared to everything else. So what I would do is I would change the slice colors, uh, the slice color of that to be more distinguished than everything else. So for example, I'll change this to a dark blue. And then in descending order, I want to put everything else in gray, but I don't want to just put them all in gray. I want to put them in a gray color that is slowly getting lighter. So changing their colors from, you know, dark gray to lighter gray makes it easier to distinguish that A, we are like focusing solely on this one product, the best selling product that we have. And then everything else is sort of ranked in descending order. Now this pie chart by itself already looks good. However, unfortunately the colors uh, can be dynamic. So this kind of storytelling will only work if you're using pie charts in a static format. Unlike a lot of visualization tools, Power BI is pretty dynamic. So that means that uh, we give users the ability to slice and dice the data. So it means that this ranking or this visual might change depending on what your users select on the dashboard, which means that we would typically want to add some dynamic element to this to change and make sure that the colors change accordingly. However, unfortunately, pie charts don't have the conditional formatting option like we do in a lot of our visuals. So the FX icon on these colors. So we can't really adjust those colors as we would like dynamically. So that's just one thing in mind if you want to use colors in this sense in pie charts. And that's really it for this video. I hope you now know how easy it is to effectively communicate your insights through pie chart visuals. Thanks for watching. As usual, give this video a like if you found it useful. Give it a dislike if you didn't send it to do better for next time. Ask your questions in the comment section box below so I can help you and you can help others. If you really like this video, we have a Patreon page where you can support this channel and get exclusive perks like early access, demo files, and credits at the end of these videos. Thanks again for watching and see you in the next one.